If you had told me that I would one day like a game that completely revolves around Tetris-like game mechanics and stat management, I would have punched you in the face. Of course, I like a lot of things now that I never thought I would. Let's see, obligatory MLP joke number 72. Uh, what's next on the list? Oh yeah, opening title sequence. Help the Hero is an online flash game that I found on Newgrounds, produced by Armory Games and featuring a lot of great talent. The artwork is done by SFB, formerly the Super Flash Brothers, who produced the Decline of Games series, and in recent history they developed this really striking design style that has been featured in a number of great flash games. They didn't create Help the Hero, but they currently have a Kickstarter for a new project that looks amazing. It doesn't seem like a killing sort of creature. It features a lot of great looking animation and interesting game mechanics. That little girl is too stupid for my beard to be so smart. No, that doesn't make sense, does it? I highly suggest you check it out. I'll be pitching a few bones myself. This game also features the vocal talent of Aaron Hansen, aka the notorious Ego Raptor. I can hardly wait to face this beast! Then I bet you can hardly wait to watch. He didn't stand a chance, sir. It was like watching a fight between a small child and a slightly larger child who has weapons. Who is not only a great voice actor, but a fantastic animator, and sometimes he moonlights as a video game reviewer. Check out his Mega Man X review, and you'll see why I'm insanely jealous of this asshole. Seriously, I hate your guts. Go fuck yourself. Drop a line if you ever want to do a collab. Getting back to the game, which was actually created by the author The XP, or EXP, or experience. I don't know. He just makes great games. You play as an underappreciated assistant to a hero that defends a town from an invading force of monsters. You do this by handling the items he finds along his journey and equipping them to him before a fight. Now I know what some of you are saying. Oh wow! They finally combined 27 year old puzzle game mechanics with one of those overly complicated character management screens that's so trendy nowadays? Everybody stand back, cause I'm gonna start throwing all my money at the screen. Well, you might be surprised that someone other than Professor Jeff would be interested in this game. Plus it lays bare one of the core concepts of RPGs in a humorous way. And that is, even if your character is the most inept, moronic, one-dimensional, whiny man-child, you don't need to worry about that as long as you have some killer weapons. The first portion of each level is... Well, have you ever had conveyor belt sushi? You see, as your hero travels, apparently he just throws his stuff on the ground. I threw it on the ground! And you get to decide what's worth keeping. The idea is to collect as much stuff as possible by moving the item from the belt to the holding area. You can also rotate the items to maximize the space, but you have to be quick about it, because once an item leaves the screen, it's gone. At the end of each traveling round, you then have to equip the weapons to your hero to raise his levels in four areas. Attack, defense, range, and magic. Attack is based on what kind of handheld weapons you have. Swords, axes, knives, what have you. Defense is armor. Magic depends on your potions. And range on, you guessed it, ranged weapons. The first three categories are pretty basic because they follow the simple rule of the bigger the better. Range is actually tricky. The power of ranged weapons depends on how much ammo you have. You see, you won't just find a crossbow. You'll find the quiver and arrows that go with it. One trick you have to learn about ranged weapons is combining items. Basically, if you have a bullet, a bullet pouch, and a musket, then you just put all your bullets in the pouch, and then the pouch on top of the musket. Of course, part of this management system is deciding which weapons make the cut. Of course you're going to pick the nice sharp and polished sword over the old rusty wood handle axe, but if you're low on space, realizing that a slingshot with max ammo might actually be better than a musket with only one bullet could save you a lot of grief. But you still want to hold on to as much as you can. It could still be useful. During the equip phase, you can sell your items and any gold you find along your journey. You need to actually pick up more than you use each round because that's how you make money. 
then you can buy extra space for your holding area or extra equip slots for your hero, so you can stack up more items, which of course all means an overall stronger hero. From that point, you move on to the battle phase, which you don't participate in, or even see for that matter. I just realized why else I love this game. It reminds me of Paper Mario 2, but I can't see this and not think that some underhanded dealings are going on behind that curtain. If you throw the fight, you can have all this stuff, valued at over- Sometimes there will be a tie, and that's where you have to step in and decide the outcome with this little spinner thingy. The game is really short, you can beat it in about 30 minutes, but it's still really fun and I think it merits more exploring. I can easily see this becoming one of those app games. Maybe instead of just one monster, you have to go through different waves of them, and certain weapons will work on certain monsters. Like you can include wooden stakes that could be really crappy against every other monster, except for vampires, of course. Or maybe you can introduce a system where you have to mix different potions to create stronger ones. All that good stuff. But like I said before, SFB seems to have their hands full with something else right now. Seriously, check that out. But there's one thing I don't understand. Who the hell keeps hiding all this treasure? Even sacks of money and piggy banks. Now we bury the treasure. Uh, Captain? Captain, I know we usually bury the treasure, but what if this time we use it to buy things? You know, uh, things we like. I hope you've got a health care plan, and if you don't, I understand. Here's the hours I'm looking for A part-time shift from noon to four But not on Tuesdays Cause that's when I dungeon master for my friends <laughs>